not sure. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to go back over this packet. For some reason, my video froze. So I'm, you're going to end up seeing two free answers because I want to make sure you understand. So today's is Wednesday, and this is November the 18th. So today you're working on division with repeated subtraction. Quick review. In division, your first number is your total. We call this our dividend. This is the number you're dividing by. The number in the middle is called your divisor. That's how many groups you have. And your answer is called your quotient. And that's the number that goes in each group. So on the first page for today, you're going to use repeated subtraction to get your answer. So let's look at number two to see how to work the other three problems, okay? So first thing you're going to do is you're going to start with your total. That is your dividend. The 12 is our biggest number. It should go in our dividend place, which means it's going to go in front of my division symbol. So I start by putting a 12 divided by. I'm dividing by 2. As you can see here on the subtraction problem, they keep subtracting 2. So I'm taking 2 away equals. Now all I need to do is count what I'm subtracting. So I'm subtracting 1 times, 2 times, 3 times, 4 times, 5 times, 6 times. I had to take 2 away 6 times. Now I'm going to actually show you what this subtraction does. If we start with 12 and we take away 2, we end up with 10. Then I'm going to take 10 and take another 2, end up with 8. Take 8, another 2 away, 6 is 6, take away 2 is 4. 4 take away 2 is 2, and 2 take away 2 is 0. Once you get 0, you're finished. You can see I could take 2 away from 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times before I get a 0. So this is how you're going to work the top section. You're going to show me how to take away that number until you get to zero. All of your subtraction answers should be zero. That's when you know to stop subtracting. You can't go any further once you have nothing left. However many times it takes you to get to zero, that's what your quotient's going to be. It took us six times to make 12 turn to a zero when we were subtracting a um, two. So you'll finish that top section down at the bottom. You're now going to draw your own. So I'm going to do the last one with the seven. You can see I worked one while ago until my video froze. I'm going to, to restart so you can already see some work. That might help you. 28 divided by 7. That means we're going to start with 28. We're going to take away 7. 28 minus 7 is 21. We're now going to take our 21 and take away another 7. 21. Take away 7 is 14. 14. Take away 7. You keep subtracting until you have 0. Once you get 0, you're finished. So we subtracted 28 and we took 7 away 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So 28 minus 7, minus 7, minus 7, minus 7. We can subtract 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So that's my subtraction sentence. I can take 7 away from 28 4 times before it turns into a 0. So what would my division be? 28 divided by 7. How many times did it take me? 4. So 28 divided by 7 is 4 because I can subtract 7 4 times before it is a 0. So finish your repeated subtraction page. On the back, you are doing a number line. So you're actually going to get two free answers on the top and one on the bottom. So on a number line, your dividend, which is your total, that's where you stop jumping. So you can see up here, our t dividend was 10. I stopped jumping on 10. You don't see any more jumps past 10. Your divisor is what you're going to count by. So we first counted to 5 and jumped on it. Then we counted 5 more and jumped on that. We counted by 5 
two times is what happened. So you see two jumps. That's how I know 10 divided by 2, I mean 10 divided by 5 gives us 2 because it took us two jumps. This is where I've already worked number 2. Our dividend is 21. I had to add a 21 to this number line because it only stopped at 20. But we have to go all the way to 21. I wrote stop. Go ahead and write stop underneath 21. We're counting by seven. So the next thing I did was find my sevens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I underlined it. I did seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and underlined it. I did seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and underlined it. I did not do another seven because I made it to my stop sign because my dividend was 21. I'm going to stop when I get to 21. Now all I need to do is count those jumps. I jumped on 7, that's one jump. I jumped on 14, that's two jumps. And I jumped on 21. It took three jumps, one, two, three, to get to 21 counting by 7. So under 7 I wrote count and it takes me three jumps. So next to that three I'm going to write jumps just so you have an idea on what you're counting to get your division problem. I'm going to do number four with you as well. So we're going to start with zero. Always start at zero. Some of you last time we did number lines, you decided to start at one. That's incorrect. We don't start up counting on one. We start having zero and then we jump to our one. So number line has to start on zero. Okay, next. We've got to get our number line to stop at 15 because that's my dividend, right? Stop under there. So I'm going to put all my numbers on my number line until I get to 15. When I get to 15, I stop. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, stop. I'm going to circle 15. If you need to write stop underneath it, do that so you know you cannot go past 15. Now, the next thing I see on my divisor is 5. This is what I'm going to count by, right? Count under 5. So I'm going to start at 0 and I'm going to count to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Underline it. Count to 5 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Underline it. Count to 5 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Underline it. I have underlined 5, 10, 15 because those are my 5's. Now we're going to jump. Start at 0. Again, do not start at 1. Start at 0. Jump to 5 because we underlined it. Jump to 10 because we underlined it. Jump to 15 because we underlined it. And stop. 15 is my stop sign. How many jumps do I have? 1, 2, 3. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 jumps. Your answer is your jumps. I'm going to write jumps next to my 3. I will work 1 at the bottom. Let's do number 5. Number 5. First thing I need to do is find where it stopped. Where do I stop jumping? 18. So that means my equation has to start at 18. That's the end of the number line. Next, I'm going to see what are they counting by. They went from 0 and jumped on 6, 12, and 18. 6, 12, and 18, they are counting by 6, aren't they? So my divisor is 6. My quotient is going to be the jumps, so count my jumps. 1, 2, 3, they jump 3 times. So 18 divided by 6 is 3. And that's how you'll work the bottom. Last page. Strip diagrams. You did this already yesterday. So now you get to do one on your own. I'll do one box and let you work the other three by yourself. This one's about Cody. Hey, Cody, look, there you are. Cody had three boxes of chocolate. So let's draw three boxes. Those are going to be my groups. Groups come first, right? So here's my strip diagram. One, 
two, three. There's my three boxes, just like Cody had. Each box contained eight chocolates. So now I've got to put eight in each group. So eight, eight, eight. All I did was put eight chocolates in my boxes. How many chocolates does Cody have in all? So here we go, our total. What would we get if I have three boxes of eight? Eight, 16, 24. So write that on the top of your box. You have 24 total. Total, there are 24. What kind of strip diagram is this? Did I have a total? No. Do you see that clue word in all? Circle it big. Do you see this clue word each and it's not in the question? Circle it big. This is a multiplication strip diagram. Do you know why it's multiplication and not division? It's multiplication because I did not have a total. I'm going to write that. Did not have a total. If you don't know your biggest number, you're going to have to multiply to get that big number. Look at the difference between number one, needing a total. It says how many in all. I didn't know what he had in all. And now look at Blair on number two. Look at that first sentence. Blair has 20. That's your total, right? Total up there beside the word 20. That's your total. Now you already know the total is 20. You already have 20 for your big number. You know your entire strip diagram has got to equal 20 because that's your total. Go ahead and do that. If she wants to put five stuffed animals in a pile, how many piles of stuffed animals will she have? It's not asking for a total, is it? We already know she's got 20 stuffed animals. It's wanting us to put five in one group. So I know one box has got to have five. What I don't know is how many boxes I'm going to need. I don't know how many boxes I need. How many five? I know to put five in a group. I don't know how many groups I need. So this is a division box. I'm trying to figure out how many boxes I'm going to need here. So let's count by five, shall we? We're going to count by five so we get to 20. Five, 10, 15, 20. How many boxes will I need? Four. So I already have one, two, three, four. I'm going to need four boxes of five. So I know the answer is four. This is a division problem. Do you see the difference? This one, I have a total. This one, this one I have a total. This one I did not have a total. So one last thing to do for Cody. Let's answer it. He has 24 chocolates because we did we did eight times three or three times eight. It was three times eight, wasn't it? Let me rewrite that. Three groups of eight. And um, Blair, I actually did two problems for you, didn't I? Blair, we did not have a, uh, we did have a total, so it was 20 divided by 5, which we learned we needed four groups. So she would have four piles. Okay, so you've seen one multiplication. You needed a total, so you had to multiply. You've seen a division. So that probably tells me one of these problems at the bottom is going to be multiplication and one's going to be division. You work them out and see what you get. And that is all I have for you to do is this one packet for Wednesday. When you finish that, go back and make sure your packets are done um, for the week. Only thing left to do should be some red pages and we'll save that for tomorrow. Have a great Thursday.